Hi, I'm Mark Henry and I'm from Northern Ireland. Hi there, I'm Lindsay Fleming and I'm from Northern Ireland. Today we're going to do a clipping demonstration on how to clip a calf. We've already done one side of the calf and we're going to follow and show everybody how to do the second side. Today we've got a blower and a hairbrush here and Mark's going to use that to blow the belly hair on the top line up and we'll explain how to do that later. We have two different sorts of clippers. One's got a slightly thicker blade which is the green ascalor clippers here today and that's for clipping the bodies and we have a slightly thicker blade for clipping the heads and legs just for that little bit of refineness through the legs and the heads just tidied up that wee bit more. Mark's got a set of mosers here that we'll use for tidying up in and all the places that the big clippers can't get. It's got an adjustable blade so you can use it to clip the body or the legs to whatever length suits. We've got a other clipper here as we call it. Um, we've got a really tight blade in here called a 50 and we'll use that to clip the calves tail and it's inside of its ears. As we can see now, Mark is just blowing the top line up. You start and blow the top line up and belly hair and take a quick line which we'll explain as we go along how that, why we do that. And uh, as you can see, we're clipping show side here at the minute. Mark has previously this morning clipped non-show side, which is where you'd like to start if you're starting at home to clip your own animal, just to make sure the blades that you're using suit the animal that you're clipping are in the right length. As you can see, Mark's just taking a line over the top line here. When you're clipping your own calf, you should stand back and assess your animal where the high points and the low points are in the animal and try and take a rough line just to level it off just roughly as quick as you can and then come back to that at a later stage just to finish it off. Mark's just taking a, a rough line of the belly here quickly just to, so it's the same as the top line that he doesn't take too much off but when you're clipping as it's quite easy to do you can forget before you know it you've taken a swipe too low. So Mark's just making a line there for himself to work to and then he'll come back at the end and re-blow it again and uh, carve it out properly. And by what I mean by carve out is uh, trim it in all perfect and uh, try and blend it in as best as you can so it looks as natural as possible. Mark's just starting to clip the legs with a slightly tighter blade. It's the same as the top line when you're taking a rough line off it. It's to use a slightly tighter blade just to take a rough line and he's going to clip the legs with a slightly tighter blade just to leave the calf a little bit more refined. And you sort of take that up and blend it in through the thigh, as you can see Mark's doing here. You can see Mark's clipping here quite fast. And Mark's been doing this eight or nine years, most of us, since he's been able to hold these clippers, basically. And it takes a lot of practice and a lot of time. So when you're at home clipping your calf, there's no rush, there's no time limit. Just take your time, assess what you're doing. Nobody's done making you do it at any speed. Just take your time, relax and try your best. It's all about practice, just practice makes perfect as I say. Mark's just finished the legs, now he's going to move on to clipping the head with the same clippers as he's clipped the legs and clip up, clips up the legs up across the neck here at an angle and tries to blend that tight blade in roughly and clip all of this, the head and the neck, all with the tighter blades. And Mark's just clipping the head here now and we'll clip as much as possible off for the big clippers and then uh, we we'll get the wee black clippers and mosers we, clip, we talked about earlier to do round the bits that the big clippers won't get and round the, round the ears. Mark's just finished the legs and the head now. Mark's going to start with the slightly thicker blades that we showed earlier on the Ascaroid clippers and clip the body off. And uh, he's just going to, that line that you made earlier in the top line, he's just going to work to that and the belly hair for now. And then once the body's finished, we'll come back and trim the top line and the belly hair perfect. As you can see, Mark's clipping away here. And the line that Mark made earlier in the top line, he's just going to work to here and work to the line in the belly here and take all the hair off from where he finished in the legs right through to where he finished in the neck here. And with the slightly, because these blades are slightly ground down, it's not like your normal thicker blades where one, one swipe will do. You have to go over, go over the, the heifer a couple of times just to make sure, as you can see, that Mark's got all the hair and there's no lines left in the animal. And don't worry if there is, you can come back at the end again and stand back and look at your calf and if there's any misfits, you can go over it again then. There's, as you can see here, this calf's standing nice and quietly for it to be clipped. So when you're starting out at home, I'd advise that you pick your calf that you're going to take to the show and uh, tie it up several times, get it properly halter broke and get it nice and quiet to make life easier for yourself and wash it several times before you even start to clip it. And once once you've clipped it, maybe the first time, maybe clip it two months before the show, or maybe even more. And then again before the show again, maybe clip it off two or three weeks. 
As you can see, Mark's clippers here, they're adjustable in length for clipping. So because of the ground down blades, there's not exact sizes. So when he goes to start and clip the leg, the fine blades that he's used for us today, the clippers are one click back. But maybe if the clippers that you're using could be two clips back or three, just they uh, got to figure out that when you're clipping it, you're not taking too much off and the legs aren't too pink, that they stay white naturally. And as you can see, Mark's going to use these wee clippers just to go in round the wee bits of the bone in the leg that the big clippers won't get to and just leave a nice clean finish on the leg. And then uh, he'll do the same in the front legs and the same in the head with the wee clippers and round the ears. And then we'll finish off at the end and use the 50 blades and the other clippers to go round the insides and do the tail. Mark's just going to do the tail now and how we measure the tail is we roughly just take a line through here in the calves legs roughly about there and start clipping there and leave the bush of the tail down and we're just using the other clippers here which are slightly tighter just to make that calf look a wee bit dairier and cleaner and once Mark's finished the tail here he'll blend it in nicely just up through the top so it meets the try and blend it in as best as, best as possible because obviously the blades here are slightly longer and they're slightly tighter once he's that finished we we'll take the cab and give her a, a, a final wash before we do her, finish set her top line and finish off her belly hair. So, so once your calves washed and dry and you have the hair all brushed down, it's time to do the final top line and, and the final clip on the calf so it's ready for the ring. And Mark's just blowing the hair up straight. The brush he has here is a denim brush that we showed earlier and the hair dryer. The idea is to blow the hair with the hair dryer on the heat to blow the hair straight up. Hold the hair dryer at a 40 degree, 45 degree angle to the, the back line, the top line of the calf. And just blow the hair slowly. You don't want to go too fast, just nice and slow that to give the hair dryer a chance to blow the hair up nice and straight. And once you get the hair nice and straight, then it's time to finish off the last bit of the top line. As you can see, Mark's just blowing the belly hair up again for that one final trim. And just to try and make it as look as natural as possible to the animal that's trimmed in nice and tight in the you don't, it's not, you don't want to make it too obvious where the hair starts and where the hair finishes. Just to blend it in nicely and leave a nice clean finish on the animal. Mark's blew up his top line here and he's just making sure there's no, no lines and it's all blended in nicely. And once he's that finished he's going to use what we call clear magic which is basically hairspray for cows. It sets it, holds the hair nice and firm so it does holds it tight so you can get the final trim, a straight line on its back. When you go to do your top line do not rush this. For Mark, he can do this really fast, he's going faster, he's been doing this a long time. It's to work along slowly and just try and get this as level as possible and take all the wee fine bits off. Don't rush, just, you can keep going back and doing it. If you take too much off, you can't put it back, so just take a little bit at a time and just go slowly. For us to do this, it would take us 15, 20 minutes, half an hour, depending on, as you can see, this calf standing nice and quiet. It take, when the calf stands and it makes life a lot easier, it's a bit faster, but when you're starting out new, there is, there is no time limit, just take your time. If it takes you half an hour, an hour, it doesn't matter, as long as it finishes out properly in the end, it's fine. Mark took his final trim, or his final carve out, and he's just spraying, as I showed earlier, the, the clear magic, as we call it, or the hairspray for cows, onto the top line, just to hold the hair nice and firm and t tight, and hold it up straight, as Mark blew it up earlier and he's spreading that along there, just a nice fine mist, not too much, not too heavy, it's for, you'll learn as you go along, the, if you put too much in it'll make it too hard to take the final trim and if you don't put enough in, the hair will fall back down again. So Mark's just putting a wee bit of clear, clear magic into the top line to hold it tight and he's now going to do the tail fin, sprays it on and use your, use your hands to get the, the hair all nice in and straight and tight. And as Mark does that, the spray will be drying and it'll hold the hair tight and firm together and once we give the top line a quick quick mist of final or clear magic we'll get, we'll get the clippers out again and we'll take one final line to get the top line as straight as possible as I explained earlier the calf you can see here has got a little bit of bone here and the idea is to make it as level as possible but a slight run uphill not too much now Mark's just going to go and take his final line with the tight clippers just to take any wee bits of hair off just to make it look nice and fine and natural to the animal. Now, just about half an hour, an hour away from going into the ring and uh, Mark's just getting the calf here, blowing any dust off the calf, any bits of straw or sawdust that the calves gathered up from, the, from being top lined earlier. Blow it off and because the calf's been back to its bed, it's going to be laid down. He's given just the belly here a bit of a blow up to fluff it up to make it look natural again. And as you can see, when we top lined the calf earlier, the hairspray or the clear magic leaves the black hair a little bit 
white doesn't leave it black so what we do is we have a can of black magic that you can get from Showtime or Lockery as well it's the same as clear only and black for, Mark can do this freehand but if you're new and starting out maybe if you got a bit of cardboard or a bit of paper and just cover over the white bits so you don't get any black on the white and just spray over the black bits and cover all the white all the clear magic up so it looks natural and once you have that done is to uh, give your calf a final, final brush down with uh, what we call this is final bloom you can use final mist just use the brush and a bit of final just to give a calf a nice shine and then brush any wee bits of dust out of the hair and once you have the body done before you, just before you go into the ring is to uh, use the tail brush again and the top line brush to fluff up the tail and put a little bit of the what we call the hairspray or the clear magic as we were using previous in the tail as well, Mark will show you now just to fluff the tail up nicely and then you put the clear magic in just to hold it in that shape until the uh, class is over and that's you good to go that's you all finished, that's us done you're ready for the ring and best of luck